Good evening everybody, I'm Pierre Robert. I hate protein. But I still do because I'm too cheap to eat out all the time. My recipes are easy to make, easy to clean, won't take much of your time and this one tastes especially good. Today we are going to cook a pot roast that is going to taste amazing because we have two special secret ingredients that make all the difference. You will impress everybody with this recipe. Let's look at the ingredients. We are going to need a boneless bottom blade pot roast and then we are going to put a bunch of vegetables. So you can use all the vegetables that you have in your fridge. We have carrots, we have Brussels sprouts, we have parsnips, turnips, I don't know which is which, also an onion. And we are going to season everything with some herbs and spices, with some Worcestershire sauce, with some balsamic vinegar, sugar, blah, blah, blah. And we are going to cook this in the instant pot pretty quickly. First, we are going to start with our first secret ingredients. The secret here is that we are going to use chicken broth for a beef recipe. Don't tell anybody, if you use beef broth, it's gonna taste like shit. But if you use chicken broth, the taste is going to be amazing. So we put two cups of chicken broth. And this is a tip when you cook with the Instant Pot. For this six quart Instant Pot, you need to put at least two cups of liquids for any recipe that you do. If you have the three quarts Instant Pot, you only need to put one cup of liquid. Then we are going to put our vegetables and I don't need to cut them in small pieces because they will cook with steam and they will be thoroughly cooked after the 30 minutes. So I put all of my vegetables first. I put the meat last. I put my carrots, I don't peel them. I put the carrots, I put my onion and then I put my big piece of meat. And now it's time for the seasoning. I put a lot of salt, salt is good, salt is healthy. I put my herbs and spices, so this is garlic powder, onion powder, I have sage, oregano, chili powder to add a little bit of a kick, some Italian herbs, and thyme. You can put any herbs and spices that you want, you don't need to do any measuring. We are going to add some Worcestershire sauce, and some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of brown sugar, and our second secret ingredient, tomato sauce. You can use a spaghetti sauce, you can use tomato, but what this will do is that it will make your gravy a lot thicker. This is looking pretty good. And then we set the instant pot for 30 minutes. If our piece of meat was frozen, I could have still used it, but I would have set the instant pot for one hour instead of 30 minutes. So now we have some time to go watch some YouTube. Okay, we are back. So it has been 30 minutes. It took approximately 20 minutes for the Instant Pot to build up all the pressure because we had a lot of vegetables. So if you want your Instant Pot to go fast, don't put a lot of things in it. This one was pretty full. If you are not in a hurry, you can decide to just let the Instant Pot do what's called a slow release. You can just let the Instant Pot lose the pressure all by itself. Your meat will be a little bit more tender, but here I am just going to actively release the pressure. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Absolutely fantastic, this looks so good. We are going to thicken the gravy. I will add three big pinches of flour, break the flour apart so that it does not lump up together. And then we are going to saute that for 10 minutes. This is one pinch, second pinch, and third pinch. We are going to set the instant pot to saute for 10 minutes. So it means that we have another 10 minutes to go watch some YouTube. We have been boiling the wheat flour for 10 minutes and what is happening here is that the gluten in the flour is going to become thicker and thicker and this is what is going to give the thickness to the gravy. Look at this perfection. This looks so good. Let's now give it a taste. Mm. 
The carrots are super tender. Let's try some meat also. Mm. Wow, the meat is super tender also. This is fantastic. You can take this and put this on rice and pasta. This is going to taste extremely good. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can click on my affiliate link. I put an affiliate link for the Instant Pot right here. I'm gonna wish you a great rest of your day and I'm gonna tell you à la prochaine. It's a wrap, everybody. It's a wrap. <laughs>